and feel this like warmness in my stomach. I'm like, yeah, everything's gonna be okay. Me and hate yours. This is right. Um I am so excited because we are in Kansas City for Planet Comic Con. It's the 25th anniversary. It's just crazy to me because prior to 2022, I wasn't collecting comics, I wasn't going to conventions. Then I started going to some local conventions and now I'm in Kansas City for Planet Comic Con. That's just amazing because I just didn't think I would be this much into the hobby of collecting and meeting artists, just enjoying comics, reading comics. It's just been a blast and I'm here it's Saturday and I actually got in really early on Friday morning because I left kind of late on Thursday. Drove through the rain, <laughs> that stunk. I was there all day yesterday from pretty much when they opened around one o'clock to seven, almost eight o'clock maybe. It was great because I was able to meet a couple people. I was able to meet Jason Aaron. I was able to meet Pat Gleason. My favorite uh, panel was actually with The Boy Meets World crew. It was Will Friedel, Daniel Fischel, and Ryder Strong. And it was just fun. It was just a blast because I grew up in the 90s and grew up on Boy Meets World. And that's pretty much what everyone expressed, everyone who asked the question. It was just a real nostalgia fest. I'm also here to see Kevin Eastman. That was one big reason I came is just to um, hopefully get his autograph, sitting on one of his panels, which I think he has one panel today at one o'clock. So I need to just head over there right now so I can be there and not miss it. His autographs are a lot more expensive. I don't know if you guys have seen, but his autographs are like $25. And I, I brought a whole bunch of comics from uh, Turtles. Like I brought some individual issues. I grabbed um, both Last Ronin hardcovers that I have. The IDW collection number one hardcover that I have. Was expecting to maybe like get four or five signatures from him for what I thought most other creators charge like five or ten bucks and that would be it, like five bucks, five signatures, that would be worth it to me. But $25, I don't know if I'm gonna be getting more than one, to be honest with you. The other artist that I met, Jason Aaron, it wasn't much for his signatures, it was like $5 each. I think the first one was free. Patrick Gleason got two signatures from him as well. Missed running into Francis Manipal. I wanted to get his signature. And I wanted to talk to you guys about this too, is that do you guys have FOMO going to conventions because I was rushing out of the door Thursday. I was trying to look through all my comics to see which ones I was going to grab and I missed out on some that I should have brought. There's some creators for the Batman animated series that are here. I think Ellen Burnett. I wanted to get um, Batman Offworld which I have those issues and bring that because I wanted to get that signed by both Doug Mankey and Jason Aaron. They're both here and I only got some of the Jason Aaron stuff signed so I got, uh, let's see. They get the Southern Bastards hardcover signed. And my comics are falling. Also had um, Ashen Comics 1061, Once Upon a Time at the End of the World. So those were all it for Jason Aaron. I also forgot to mention I met um, Mark Wade and I bought this comic from him because Again, another thing where I already have the Shazam issues that he's writing right now and that I didn't even think about it, um, but I did bring this and I brought this and I know I probably have more Gleason stuff, but the ones I could find were these two. So Superman 37 and Superman 6 and I brought this for Francis Manipal, this is the cover A, and I have the cover that he drew, the yellow one, 
with the bus. I didn't even put, put it together that he drew that cover. I just was like, oh, I want to bring the cover A1. <laughs> I'm, I'm rambling. I just Those are the, some of the stuff I got so far. Uh, I'll be heading over there right now to check it out. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I'm going to head over there, and I'll see you there in a minute. I'm in my car now and I want to just give you guys a recap. After I did my intro, I headed over to the convention, but I was already running a little bit late and I was starving, so I stopped to just pick up a snack and some water because I didn't want to pay the convention price for water or any snacks this time. By the time I got there, <laughs> it was I got to my parking spot, which I'm in right now, and this is a little bit farther from the convention because um, this is a 10 hour parking. Same place I parked yesterday. I just wanted something that was cheap and I didn't have to worry about, and it worked out perfectly yesterday. But today I got here after one. It's 0.8 miles to walk over there, which I'm fine with, but I wanted to get there and see at least a little bit of the Kevin Eastman um, panel. <laughs> so I called Uber, and it said they were like six, seven minutes away. I was like, dang it. Uh, I should have called it earlier, but I didn't know how I was gonna have a parking spot. So I called them. It stayed at like seven minutes for probably what felt like six or seven minutes. The guy's thing wasn't moving. He was on the other side of downtown and I was like, screw this. I canceled it and I walked over there. By the time I got there, it was like 1.30, 1.35. And I was like, well, I missed it. <laughs> and that stinks because uh, Kevin Eastman is one of the you know reasons that I actually came to this convention. Um, I mean, there's also other reasons. Like I heard it was just one of the better conventions so I still plan to see him with like, you know, getting an autograph. He was over by the celebrity sections and over there, the lines were super long. So, uh, and I just got tired today, man, carrying all this stuff. I, I did meet Francis Manifold and I got a print for him that was, I think this is 11 by 17 print right here. I didn't really have anything to put it in. The bag was starting to get heavy. So I was like, let me go back to the car and see, you know, if I just need to take a break. So right now I'm gonna get some food, go back to the hotel real quick, and I'll probably come back, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring the whole bag because I already got my Francis Manipole signatures. I also got, um, no, I didn't get Burnett signatures. I think they're gonna be here tomorrow too. So I'm, I'm 
debating about just coming back without my backpack because I just don't want to haul that thing around. It was so crowded here today. So I don't know right now, just go get some lunch and see what we want to do after that. Head back to the convention today. It's only four o'clock, so there's still some time to come back and, and look around a little bit more. Hopefully the crowd will die down a little bit. And then I'm, I got the three day pass, so I'll, I'll be able to come tomorrow too. Alright guys, so I messed up. Yesterday, I came back to the convention a little too late. I thought they were open till 8, and I got there at like 6, 6.30. Went straight over to Eastman's booth, and they were like, he's done for the day. <laughs> to come back tomorrow. So it's Sunday right now, and I was already planning to go back because today I wanted to spend more time looking for stuff, go to a panel because I missed his panel yesterday. It was a little early in the morning. Yesterday just turned out, it wasn't good at all for me. I don't know, I didn't feel feel good. I got there to the convention like at 1, 1.30. It is early right now though, it is 9 a.m. So I'm about to leave right now and get there. I think the show opens at 10 a.m. today. There's a panel at 11. There's actually two panels at 11. There's one for Batman the Animated Series with Kevin Altieri and Alan Burnett. I really wanted to go to that one, but then there's another one at the same time with Mark Wade, Jimmy Palmiotti, Chris Claremont, and Kevin Eastman. So that's the one I'm gonna go to because I missed out on Eastman's panel yesterday. I still would have liked to, to have been there. Like I said, just got a really bad start yesterday. Got there, left, came back late again. And um, I did get a chance to look at some comics and get some good footage. But um, today is all about going to Eastman's panel, getting his autograph, and then I'm going to go uh, spend the rest of the day shopping around, trying to find some deals. And I think today's going to be a good day because it's early. I'm going to get there before they open, and uh, I'll probably stay until close. So let's get to it.
All right, guys, we are done with Planet Comic Con 2024. I am so relieved. Uh, I just finally got Kevin Eastman's autograph. Actually, let me go back. So I got here kind of early, like right when they opened, walked in, walked around for a little bit, you know, just bought some stuff, and then went over to the panel with Chris Claremont, Jimmy Palmiotti, Kevin Eastman, and Mark Wade, and it was great. I was able to sit in the front. I got there early, sat in the front, recorded the whole thing. I'm gonna put that up in like a whole separate video. I put a snippet in this video, but have a whole separate video with that whole thing. And that was great. That was a, um, a good talk. And I went back to the showroom floor, walked around for a few minutes, but then I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and head over to Kevin Eastman's booth. And they, they had already capped off. And he's like, come back at 2.30. <laughs> Uh, so I came back at 2, he's like, come back at 2.30 or 3, I was like, oh, okay. Um, came back finally, like the third time, and I got in line, and they were like, no promises, we don't know if we're going to be able to get th through everyone. Thankfully, I was able to get through the line, they were moving it pretty quickly, and I got to meet Kevin Eastman um, for the second time today, just, you know, after the, the panel, and he signed my book. So... Got this one, and also got the, I'm not gonna pull it out right now, but the um, Christmas issue of Turtles, I think it was 124. Signed that one with gold, and signed this one with like, kind of a bright reddish one. And I think this is great, this is like, this is my favorite one. My fiance got this for me for Christmas this past year, and I'm gonna display this one. I was like worrying that I was, wasn't gonna make it. Um, and then today, right after his panel, they're like, come back at 2.30, it's like, what? They already capped off? That's crazy. And I was worried that when I came back, they would say the same thing. But uh, thankfully, they were able to let me in line. I came back right at 2.30. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I just gotta head back to Dallas. It's gonna be probably about seven, eight hour drive. And uh, it's 5.30 right now, so I'm in for a ride. But that's pretty much it. You know, I'm putting up separate videos for everything I have video from Friday and the panels from that day. I'm going to put the panel with Kevin Eastman and Chris Claremont and them uh, up separately and then I'll put up this vlog as well. So just a mix of different videos from Planet Comic Con. First time really kind of just recording and, and filming at a comic book convention, you know, kind of nervous with like pointing the camera at people. So mostly just trying to capture things and crowds versus like people did get a couple pictures and stuff. But um, yeah. That's pretty much it. If you guys are interested in more comic book content, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, like this video if you liked it, and comment down below anything related to the convention you wanted to ask or tell me. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.